Hey guys, what is up? Thanks for coming back for episode two. Last time we talked about Forrest Fenn. Uh, what a character. This guy hid like $2 million worth of treasure in the Yellowstone Park somewhere. People all across the nation are just fanatic over it. <laughs> <laughs> um, t- so last time we talked about the actual treasure, the poem, what it means. We kind of decoded it a little bit. You should go back and listen to it if you haven't already. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about the illegal activity that's been surrounding this. How many people have died because of this? How many people have become involved in this FBI case that's pursuing Forrest Fenn? I don't know. It's kind of freaky. <laughs> I don't think I realized at first that, like, this was illegal. Like, I don't know if Courtney realizes or not. Oh, no. I, but I, I knew it was. That. He yeah, said I knew something it was, about, too. He said some As soon as he was, like, $2 million worth of treasure, I was like, this guy's going to jail. <laughs> well, I didn't really think about it because, like, I mean, he owns an art museum, so I just kind of thought, like, they were, like, treasures that he's collected for his art museum, mm-hmm. and I didn't really think about it. And then I was researching it, and I was like, oh, my God, what is happening? Well, I figured people kind of revere him as, like, this Indiana Jones figure, and there's mm-hmm. no way somebody that cool can exist without some kind <laughs> of... <laughs> yeah. So, there's this law called... Well, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a federal law, basically, and it's The Federal Antiquities Law. There you go. It protects, like, these different artifacts in these areas. And basically all across America, we have, like, these different dig sites. I mean, that's what you think of when you think of archaeologists. Mm -hmm. And so Forrest Fenn has gone to these dig sites, which are protected by these laws in America. And he has dug up in these dig sites things that he is not allowed to, just like other people who have. And has taken them, and that's how they're they're basically stolen and put in that chest. I'm pretty sure that's all the things that are in that chest is stuff that he's taken from dig sites that he wasn't supposed to. In, like, most cases, they would be able to, like, take custody of the treasure and, like, send mm-hmm. this guy to jail. But they can't really prove anything because they it's hidden have... somewhere in the Yellowstone yeah. Park. Yeah, that's yeah. so true. <laughs> imagine, the, imagine the FBI solving things. <laughs> it's stupid, though, because it's gone on for so long. It's gone on for, like, nine years of these people trying to find it. And what ended up happening is, like, Okay, so Forrest Fenn wasn't the exact one who dug up these things. It was probably people that he bought off to do it for him. It was, it was yeah. Or, it was, like, over his military career, he would go with archaeologists yeah. to their dig sites. Mm-hmm. And he would just, like, snatch stuff, well, stick it in his pocket. And what's weird is America's so behind because, like, all of these other countries have laws, like, stricter laws. And people, like, military, like, personnel at these <coughs> dig sites. But America just doesn't because we don't care about artifacts, apparently. I don't know, because there's been so much stuff that's been stolen, and apparently in Santa Fe, this happens to be where Forrest Fenn lives, is one of the biggest archaeologist, like, dig sites Mm -hmm. in America. So, that's a big coincidence, but... (laughs) His house, during this FBI case, his house was searched with four collectors while the FBI was looking for the stolen artifact. They seized things like his business accounts and his computers... I mean, like, and it makes sense because Santa Fe has, like, this huge black market for stolen artifacts industry and things like that. I think that Santa Fe would be the most equipped to deal with something like this because they've dealt with it so much over the past years. And it surprises me that nobody has found it over nine years, years, whatever, how many years. Okay, one more thing that's kind of crazy is these people who have gone looking for this are going to, like, the most extreme extents now. Like, they're starting to think that, like, the poem is, like, a hoax. And maybe, they think the treasure is still out there, but they think the poem has nothing to do with it Mm -hmm. anymore. I was reading about some of these people. And one of these people, I'm not positive if this is true or not, but I'm pretty sure. It was published on, like, a website, and they were talking about how um, somebody went and dug up Forrest Finn's mom's grave and his brother's grave looking for the treasure. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> you would think if, like, you yeah. hear news of your mother and your brother being dug up in a grave, you would, like, Cut stop. Cut off, yeah. Like, that's... I think he's mentally insane. Because, like, that's too far. Like, that's just, like, a different extent. It's too much. And at that point, even the people who are prosecuting the treasure can be, you know, legally pursued. Yeah. Because isn't there a desecration of the dead or something? There's a law against... There you definitely, can't, you there can't definitely just is. You can't just yeah. Yeah. dig up somebody's grave. Like, that's like some zombie type of stuff. <laughs> Let's not do that. And I just... I don't understand why people are doing this and thinking that's I'm kind okay. of going off of that, how it's impacting, you know, the people obsessed with this. Uh-huh. I mean, how many people have died? Six, I think? Yeah. 
there was two that have committed suicide because they were involved in the case. My guess is the only reason that they would have committed suicide is because they were guilty of something and they didn't want to be charged Mm -hmm. and spend life in prison. One of them was like a doctor, I think, who committed suicide, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But I think maybe he was an archaeologist and they just called him a doctor. And I think that he probably dug up some artifacts he wasn't supposed to dig up and sold them to Forrest then is what had to happen. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and just the people that have died in the wild trying to like, find this treasure i mean randy billiou jeff murphy harris wallace eric ashby i mean like how many people have to die before this has gone too far you know um let's talk a little bit more about these people though i mean i would talk about randy for a little bit because he's like the biggest case all right so the first guy uh who ended up dying because of this is randy billiou he went missing in january of 2016 and he was later found dead in july of that same year uh it was kind of a big deal. His ex-wife told others she thought the French treasure was a hoax. And this part's kind of conflict, kind of a little bit conflicting. I mean, Fenn spent $9,000 on, like, helicopters and search parties looking for him. And then two weeks after her father went missing, Fenn said to Randy's daughter, why do you want to find Randy? Just let him be. He died doing what he loved to do. You'll never find him. Maybe in 100 years, you'll find him. So, I mean, he spent all this money looking for this guy, and then he basically told the guy's daughter that yeah. he would never i th- personally think that is to put up like a shield for media because like if you say you're spending all this money and you actually are on helicopters to go looking for this guy you're going to look like a good guy but if you can see this point from his daughter who just lost her father basically even though she doesn't know he's dead yet i mean if she gets to be closer to finn i'm pretty sure she stayed right next to finn the like almost the entire time in like a hotel or something like that while they were looking for him in san fe But, I mean, she sees the side of Finn that no one else sees. And this was actually, like, in a letter, her writing to Finn. She was talking about what Finn had said and how rude it was and stuff like that. So, it's just weird that he would, I mean, spend $9,000 on helicopters. But, I mean, I could see how that could work if it was, like, for media. Like, good presence on media or something like that. Kind of putting up a front. Yeah, to, like, protect himself, you know. Uh, Jeff Murphy. (laughs) Jeff Murphy was a 53-year-old man uh, from Illinois. He was found dead inside of Yellowstone National Park on June 9th, 2017. What a horrible way to die. He fell 500 feet down a steep slope. Mm -hmm. That's just horrible. Paris Wallace, he was a pastor. (laughs) Uh, He was from Colorado. Uh, He told his family members that he would be searching for a buried treasure. His body was later found in a stream in Yellowstone. Uh, Eric Ashby was 31 years old. He was... um, Found in the Arkansas River on July 28th, 2017. Early the next year, (laughs) in January 26th, 2018, uh, the Fremont County Coroner's Office received the DNA report from the Colorado Bureau of Investigations, uh, positively identifying Ashby. So they found the body that summer of 2017, Mm -hmm. but they didn't recognize that it, they didn't identify that it was Ashby until January of the next year. Imagine being the family of that man. Not knowing whether, you know, your dad or your brother is I mean, alive. And you for think six he would have like told somebody he's going to look for this treasure. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe he didn't have a family, but I would think he would tell tell somebody. That's just a long time to go missing for. Okay, so I think one of the last things we want to talk about is the FBI agents who raided his home in 2009. So this is apparently before he hid his treasure, actually. And so people were looking for all these artifacts that had been like I guess, stolen from, like, everywhere in these archaeologist dig sites. And then there was this case open called the Four Corners case, which actually led to the suicides, where they went and seized some items of Forrest Finn, but he still wasn't charged. Um, so everybody is blaming Finn for these deaths of these two people who committed suicide for this case, because Finn isn't giving up anything. He's not well, he even hid the treasure later. He, like, let this case go on, and he was just like, oh, I'm just going to go hide the treasure anyway. So it's just crazy of me to think that, like, even though there's an entire FBI-level case open on him and that all these people are dying, he still won't close. I think it I think it kind of leads back to, we were talking about his maybe mental illness last episode. Yeah. I think for it to go on this long and for him to not say anything about it, like, not call it off, not say, this is where the treasure is, I'm giving it to the government, you know, because that would mm-hmm. be easy to do. Yeah. He has the base. He has the soapbox to tell people, I'm not doing this anymore. The treasure's not yes, out there. Yes, he definitely does. 
people will listen. People have, six people have died because of this. You know, how far does it really have to go? And it astonished me that news sites are still doing, like, reports on him. Like, Mm -hmm. finding, like, what if he knows anything or, like... He's kind of getting famous off of it, which is Well, yeah, but there's still an FBI case out there. For the news sites to still be doing this, knowing that people have died... I don't know, it just amazes me that they could put, like, the family through that, giving him more fame. And, like, imagine being the family member of someone who died. Yeah. You know, and seeing this man on television all the time constantly being reminded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People admiring him, looking up to him, wanting to be like him. Like, And I think he's selfish, too. I think, and I feel really bad for saying this, I kind of do look up to him. I mean, (laughs) I'm not going to lie. Yes, I mean, like, all of these people are dead root cause because of him but, but they he's still also kind of like also go and look for this that treasure. is true you have to keep that in mind they, like, they consciously they are not this. yeah he is not the sole fault of and he's i don't know he's just i think the reason people look up to him so much is just because of his character he's like a real life indiana jones he has a sense of adventure that people just want to be around you know what i mean yeah so uh thanks guys for listening uh i hope you enjoyed this episode uh maybe we'll be coming back for an episode three in the future maybe Maybe. Bye.